Today on the Daily Scoop podcast from the Scoop News Group. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission has eliminated all legacy systems. And Scale AI pushes Congress to take action on AI data and safety issues this year. It's Monday, October 21st, 2024. Welcome to the Daily Scoop podcast, where you'll hear the latest news and trends facing government leaders. I'm the host of the Daily Scoop podcast, Billy Mitchell. Thanks so much for joining me. Now, let's get into today's top headlines. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission does not use any legacy IT, having either decommissioned or modernized all of its systems, according to the independent agency's chief information officer. In an interview with FedScoop last week, NRC CIO Scott Flanders said that even though the agency has turned the page on systems defined by the Government Accountability Office as outdated or obsolete, there is still work to be done for modernization and evaluation of the agency's technology stack. The NRC is approaching those efforts in the most cost-effective way, Flanders said. Recent discussions with the agency's new chief financial officer and others have Flanders' team considering how modernization can be enhanced to be more forward-looking. In other news, one of the country's leading generative AI startups is urging congressional leadership to take action on a trio of safety, data, and definitional priorities for the emerging technology before the end of the year. In a letter sent last Thursday from Alexander Wang to Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, House Speaker Mike Johnson, and Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries, the Scale AI founder and chief executive officer applauded the lawmakers for bipartisan AI regulatory work this Congress while strongly pressing the quartet to include in a potential year-end legislative package three key AI priorities that will better position the United States to become a global leader in AI development and deployment. The first of scale AI's priorities is the authorization of the AI Safety Institute, which Wang called, quote, a critical body to further the necessary measurement science gaps associated with AI research. The AISI, housed within the Commerce Department's National Institute of Standards and Technology, should be, quote, empowered to play a leading voice within the existing network of overseas AI safety groups, the letter said. For more news at the intersection of the federal government and technology, visit fedscoop.com. Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of the Daily Scoop podcast available on all podcast platforms. If you've already rated the podcast on your platform of choice, thanks so much. High ratings and good reviews of the show help more people to find it. The Daily Scoop podcast is a production of the Scoop News Group in Washington, D.C. Adam Butler and Carlin Fisher help put the show together and the entire Scoop News Group team contributes. We'll be back tomorrow with more top headlines. Until then, I'm your host, Billy Mitchell. Thanks so much for listening.